welcome back to Sapna's math book today's topic is vedic mathematics vedic math is a collection of techniques to solve mathematical problems in a fast and easy way today i'm sharing few vedic math tricks for addition subtraction multiplication and division first vedic math tricks for addition question 250 plus 467 plus 76 plus 90 now we can check how to solve this using vedic math trick break the numbers as per the place value that is 200 plus 50 plus 400 plus 60 plus 7 plus 70 plus 6 plus 10 plus 9 now you can add hundreds with hundreds That is two hundred plus four hundred. That is six hundred. Now tens with tens. Fifty plus sixty plus seventy plus ten. One hundred ninety. Then ones. Seven plus six plus nine. That is twenty two. Now six hundred plus one hundred ninety plus twenty two. Repeat the process. That is one hundred ninety and twenty two. We can split again. This six hundred plus one hundred plus ninety, then twenty two twenty plus two. Then six hundred plus one hundred is seven hundred. Ninety plus twenty is one hundred ten plus two. Again, we can split one hundred ten. Seven hundred plus one hundred plus ten plus two. Now seven hundred plus one hundred, so eight hundreds are there. Then only one ten and two ones. So the answer is. Eight hundred toy. Next is Vedic math tricks for subtraction. First question: Thirty-six minus twenty-three. Thirty-six minus three is three. Three minus two one. Next question: Six hundred seventy-eight minus one hundred eighty-two. Eight minus two six. Seven minus eight is not possible. So. We have to borrow from the hundreds place. Seventeen minus eight is nine, and five minus one is four. Usually, we are subtracting this way, right to left. First ones, tens, hundreds like that. Now we can check how to subtract numbers using Vedic math trick. First one is thirty-six minus seventeen. We can use base complement method. Is one is one plus nine is ten, so one is complement to nine. Two plus eight is ten, so two is complement to eight. Three to seven, four to six, five to five. Here, left to right only we are subtract. Now usually we are subtracting from right to left, but in Vedic math, left to right only we are subtracting. That is three minus one is two. The six minus seven is not possible because six is less than seven. So obviously, this two will reduce to one. Then, how we can do six minus seven using Vedic math? Six minus seven. See here, seven is complement to three. Seven is complement to three. So this three you have to add with six. That is three plus six is nine. So two already reduced to one, and three plus six is nine. So nineteen is the answer. Next question: six hundred seventy-eight minus one hundred eighty-two. Same base complement method we can use. Six minus one five. Seven minus eight is not possible. Seven is less than eight. So obviously five will reduce to four. Then seven minus eight. Now we can do eight is complement to two. Eight down eight only. So eight is complement to two. So this two you have to add with seven. Seven plus two is nine. Then ones place. Eight minus two. Normal subtraction six. So answer is four hundred ninety-six. Okay, it is clear. Vedic math tricks for multiplication. Forty-three into eleven. Divide forty-three into four and three. That is, the middle will be four plus three is equal to seven. So that is middle number is seven. 
the left 4 into 1, 4 you can write down. The middle number is 7, 4 plus 3. Then 3 into 1 is 3, you can write down. So the answer is 473. Next question. 95 into 11. Multiplication of 11 only I am explaining. 9 plus 5. Middle number is 14. 14 we can't write in the middle. We will carry, you can write only 4 in the middle and 1 carry to the previous digit. See here, middle 4 you can write. Then 9 into 1 is 9 plus 1, that is 10. Again, 4 in the middle, 5 into 1 is 5. So the answer is 1045. Vedic man tricks for division. Division of 5 only I am explaining. 34 divided by 5. First we have to write 5 in terms of 10. That is 5 is equal to 10 by 2. So 34 divided by 10 divided by 2. Then 34 into reciprocal 10 multiplied. 34 into 2 by 10. 34 into 2, 3, 2, 0, 6, 4, 2, 0, 8, 68 by 10, this one decimal point can change, 6.8 is the answer. Next one, 4431 divided by 5, again 5 is equal to 10 by 2, so 4431 divided by 10 by 2, 4431 into 2 by 10, 4 2 are 8, 4 2 are 8, 3 2 are 6, 2 1s are 2 divided by 10. So 1 decimal point 886.2. So the answer is 886.2. Hope it is helpful for you. You can use these tricks for your calculations. Thank you.